Okay, folks, I'm going to show you the process when I'm doing when I load Ecamm Live, and I'm going to show you the problem that I'm going to try to fix, see if it will work. So, what I got to do is I go to Ecamm Live, turn it on, okay? So, I turn it on, here it comes. And I got the cameras on. Two ZFCs, okay, Z50 for the puppy cam, which this dog is over here, should be over here, but it's not, and this is what I'm showing right here. So that's the camera bag with the R6 Mark II, but that's not the problem. The problem is... I'll bring this back here. Let me see. I'm going to do this a little bit better. Right about here by raising the arm. See, this is, this thing is not, it's a little bit crooked, I'm sorry, but I'll use a lens cap to help straighten it up a little bit. Okay. Best I can do, folks. So anyway, this is what I'm going to show you what the problem is. I move the hand. See how that stutters? Now when I look at the camera, if I was recording internally, no problem. You can see it's stuttering right there. So, how do I fix it? Well, this is the Studio 32, and what I'm going to show you is I got this long cable. So I have the dummy battery is no problem, but it's the long cable, HDMI, going all the way down, this boom arm, and then connecting, goes down, connecting underneath this mat to the desk. Connected to back of the Mac Studio 32. Okay? With the Streamer X uh, right on the bottom of it. There you go. Simple as that. Okay? And you can see that I still got my uh, Streamer X mic on. That's okay. I'm not recording on here. And there's the product table. But this is what I'm going to fix. So. How do you alleviate this problem? Well, let's try this. And this is a neat thing. So, with this boom arm, I'm going to go ahead and get out Ecamm Live. And I can turn off different cameras, but I'm not. So, you see this? Cam link, this is how you fix it. Now, the other thing I'm going to talk about is tripods. And let me get back so I can focus on it. Focus, come on. Don't always trust the LCD screen, but it should focus right now, hopefully. Uh, they're not always level. And I had a small leveler, and I don't know what I did with it. Oh well, and if you notice, it's kind of crooked. Even with the uh, extensions correctly, this is more straight. So that's the problem I've been having with uh, tripods, where, let's say if I want to record something on the TV or whatever, it's like this or like this or, like, you know, it's not straight, okay? That's what you have to look at. So... Enough said with, uh, th this is a nice tripod for $100, but uh, it's not the best, okay? I just want to say, for stationary stuff, that's okay. I had a little leveler right here to make it straight as possible, but then you're always leaning the camera down or trying to adjust its height. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the uh, camera back here. So I can show you what I'm doing. 
I'm going to turn the LCD screen around. So, this is a Mac Studio. I'm going to move this out of the way because I don't really need it anymore. And what I like about these is uh, the sun parts, they're nice. But, uh, Some people, they just do one, but I go ahead and do it. Pull this out, clap the uh, arm. One, two, three. And just tighten them up. And last but not least, this arm. Two, three. See, it's collapsed. Now I can just put in the camera bag. I always close them up just in case if there's any scorpions or anything like that. You, know, you don't get any surprises when you open up the uh, camera uh, tripod bag. And it fits nicely. Handle. Excellent. I put it down here to uh, keep the cat away from the power supply and the cable that I have. So, let's look at how I'm going to fix this situation. First of all, I'll sit right here. You can view what I'm going to do. So, I got a hub right back here. I got a USB 3 extension cable. So the way you work it is this. So I think the trouble is I have a USB 2, 3 cable right here. And I should just replace it with this. And that might take the problem. But just to show you what one fix is, this is a USB 2. But it's black, all right? But the wire is not as thick as this one, okay? That's why I think it's a USB 2. So, you get the extension. You plug it into the cam link. All right? And then, you take the other end, and you put it in an open spot of the HDMI. I mean, I can go around and... wire and put in my J5 uh, hub. You got to put it in the right way. There we go. Now it's on. Okay. Now, I plugged it from one studio. This is now that my studio is 64. Mouse up for the uh, Sony Studio, and now I'm going to have to turn on the cameras. So, just to show you, Z62 up here, Z72 up here, Z5. Okay, they're plugged in. They're already in the Ecamm software. So I'm going to have to add this boom arm. And what I'm going to show you is, would this solve the problem? Just by putting a USB 3 cable in. So if I go to Camlink 1. What's that one? Z62. Okay. And what I do with that is this, and I can move the chair a little bit, okay? So there I am. I got to shave. Oh, well. So that's a Z62.
That's a Z5. And you notice, the problem is they always change. Okay, whatever you turn on, somehow ACAM doesn't remember, and it always changes. So this is a Z5, and I got the settings on the same for all. So you have the same skin tone uh, uh, look, and you can see on the monitor that it's different, but it's the same. And then uh, number three is a Z72. So all I have to do is just move this down a little bit. Okay, and I get the little mirror things. Since these are only tilt screens, they're not, uh, what, where you can put them out to the side. They just only go up. So I got little reflectors that I can see that I'm in there, and I can see some of the settings on the camera. And I like that. So uh, we're going to add the boom arm. So how do I do it? Well, you go here. In fact, I'm going to turn on the mic, a nano mic, put it down here, and uh, yeah, I can see it now. And then I'm just going to, uh, first of all, uh, I'm going to record the process. So it's recording now. And when I go up here, is I want to put it on live demo mode. So we can see. that it's on. Okay, so you're seeing everything on the screen. Okay. I know you're seeing it on there, but I'm going to show you kind of like a split screen when I add this video with this one. So what I do is, you go down here to the plus sign and add a camera. And you go up here for the camera, and I think it's Cam Link 4. And there you go, folks. I just added my uh, boom arm camera. Now, this is the test, okay? So you can see it on the camera. On this one, looking at the monitor. But now I'm going to go over here, and this is the test. Less stuttering, right? No stuttering at all, in fact. And that's the situation. So, what you got to do is this is the way I want the boom arm to work. I just fixed it. How did I fix it? Just by adding a USB 3 cable instead of a USB 2. And the Elgato Cam Links 4K are USB 3. They say it'll work on USB 2, but I recommend the USB 3. Okay? That's fixed. And then I can have rotating cameras right now. And, you know, I can move them up like I have to. A shave, sorry, and uh, I'm recording on this. And look how clear the Nikon is. So, a full frame on this studio is a lot clearer than on the uh, APS-C. Now, some people don't like you know the sharpness, I do, okay. So you can see the little blemishes, little spots, age spots, whatever. I don't mind them. I'm seeing exactly what I look at in the mirror. Okay? That's why you want to have a perfect video recording and stuff. And I'm going to turn off the live demo mode. And now you see me completely in the screen. I can move this around. Simple as that. So I can look straight at that camera right there, the Z72. Alright? And I can do this. Surprise! Let me move this a little bit. Full 
string. All right. Same thing with this. Z5. This is not bad for a Z5 camera. This has two SD uh, slots. I don't know if it does UH2S, but I picked this camera over the uh, S5 II, or no, the S5 on the uh, Panasonic. This is still a great camera. It's not backsided illuminated, not stacked or whatever, but uh, still, it's a great camera. And you can also see that I had the uh, small grip handle and stuff on here. Better stability, uh, stability while you're recording. That's the important thing. So, what did I do? I fixed the stuttering problems on the boom arm. And I'm happy. Now, I'm going to mess around to see if I can connect it with this one and fix it on the studio. But I uh, just want to say thank you for watching and uh, remember to stay safe, keep smiling, and until next time, I'll see you then. Uh, by the way, this is uh, part three. So part four is I'm going to show another studio, which would be the Sony studio, which is right next to it. There's a 4K TV over to the right, or to the I think to my left, I think it's to your right, okay? Anyway, uh, give me a like, subscribe. Any questions, just put in the comments down below. I'll see you then. Goodbye. And I gotta find the closing. I do this. Bye, folks. Gotta find the button. Okay. Bye, folks. The process. Okay. So it's recording now. And when I go up here, is I want to put it on live demo mode, so we can see. That it's on. Okay, so you're seeing everything on the screen. Okay, I know you're seeing it on there, but I'm going to show you kind of like a split screen when I add this video with this one. So what I do is you go down here to the plus sign and add a camera. And you go up here for the camera, and I think it's Cam Link 4. And there we go, folks. I just added my uh, boom arm camera. Now, this is the test, okay? So you can see it on the camera, on this one, looking at the monitor. But now, I'm gonna go over here, and this is the test. Less stuttering, right? No stuttering at all, in fact. And that's the situation. So what you got to do is this is the way I want the boom arm to work. I just fixed it. How did I fix it? Just by adding a USB 3 cable instead of a USB 2. And the Elgato Cam Links 4K are USB 3. They say it'll work on USB 2, but I recommend the USB 3. Okay, that's fixed. And then I can have rotating cameras right now. And then, you know, I can move them up like I have to. Got to shave, sorry. And uh, I'm recording on this. And look how clear the Nikon is. So a full frame on this studio is a lot clearer than on the uh, APS-C. Now, some people don't like, you know, the sharpness. 
I do. Okay. So you can see the little blemishes, little spots, age spots, whatever. I don't mind them. I'm seeing exactly what I look at in the mirror. Okay. That's why you want to have a perfect video recording and stuff. And I'm going to turn off the live demo mode. And now you see me completely in the screen. I can move this around. Simple as that. So I can look straight at that camera right there, the Z72. All right. And I can do this. Surprise. I'll do this a little bit. Full screen. All right. Same thing with this. Z5. This is not bad for a Z5 camera. This has two SD uh, slots. I don't know if it does UH2S, but I picked this camera over the uh, S5 II, or no, the S5 on the uh, Panasonic. It's still a great camera. It's not backsided illuminated, not stacked or whatever, but uh, still. It's a great camera. And you can also see that I have the uh, small grip handle and stuff on here. Better stability, uh, stability while you're recording. That's the important thing. So, what did I do? I fixed the stuttering problems on the boom arm, and I'm happy. Now, I'm going to mess around to see if I can connect it with this one and fix it on the studio. But uh, just want to say thank you for watching and uh, remember to stay safe, keep smiling, and until next time, I'll see you then. Uh, by the way, this is uh, part three. So part four is I'm going to show another studio, which would be the Sony studio, which is right next to it. There's a 4K TV over to the right. Or to the, I think, to my left, I think it's to your right, okay? Anyway, uh, give me a like, subscribe, any questions, just put in the comments down below. I'll see you then. Goodbye.